Hi, this is Vin from Tempest Rising, and you're listening to Collision on Voice FM. And we heard Tempest Rising, Dominion That Falls, and if I've got the phone line figured out now, we should have Vin on the phone. Hi, Vin. Hey, how's it going, Kat? I'm good. How are you? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Well, I think maybe last time I talked to you, you weren't such a superstar. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> How did it feel to actually get to support Seven Dust? And, like, I mean, uh, they're not just some international band, they're Seven Dust. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Like, for me personally, massive band, uh, very influential in my earlier days, and getting to meet them and see them do their thing up close and personal is pretty fucking amazing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's after ten o'clock. I won't cut you off. Okay. Oh, sweet. <laughs> no, it was phenomenal. All the boys loved it. It was just a just a massive show, and they just destroyed. And uh, we were just yeah, really privileged to be a part of that night. Can I ask, like, in the lead up to it, like, what was the level of nerves like, or did the excitement overwhelm the nerves? Or I think it was just half half. Probably not. I think like ninety percent excited. 10%, you know, nervous, but we've done it so many times. It was just, you know, it's another gig for us. Yeah, it was a massive one, but we just wanted to get up on stage and just rock out as hard as possible and show everyone that we're a band worth listening to. Well, from what I've read, you actually did achieve that. So, you know, yeah, do you think pretty maybe pretty you were more on than normal? Do you think maybe you were a bit more hyped up than you normally would be? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we got a film um, so that ha- helped as well, and, and definitely having a band of such a high caliber uh, headlining the show definitely brought that out of us. And I think that's a level that we have to remain at and and go beyond. You know, not fall back behind that. We're trying to consider ourselves a uh, professional band, not a local band, even though we're still playing local. We want to we want to you know move to that next level, and this is a pretty important step in the right direction. Yeah. Um, damn, I had a question in my head and then you started talking about being a local band and I'd forgotten what I was yeah. going to ask. Um, um, <laughs> anyway. we got some shows coming up. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We'll, we'll move on to what you've got coming up, which is Murderfest is your next gig in Perth, isn't it? Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Uh, set up by our drummer, um, Murderfest Australia. He's, you know, trying to fill the void um, that has been left by, you know, the loss of so many touring uh, shows around the country. They're doing the Perth one and we're just organising the Melbourne one as well. Uh, some pretty big bands on that, like King Parrot, Jimmy mm. Massive. Yeah, they're headlining. Uh, he's yeah. done Melbourne Murder Fest before, though, hasn't he? Yeah, with, like, Cydonia um, and other bands. is pretty amazing. Is uh, this Frank the first Box Perth one, well. or...? No, nah, this is the third one. We've oh. played all of them. Like we've been friends with Maddie for for years, and like, his brother is Pete Daniel, the guitarist. Hmm. We kind of just fit in, and uh, yeah, no, nah, it's going to be a pretty full on show. Well, actually, speaking of that, Maddie did just join the band not long ago, and his brother yeah. is in the band. So, what's it like having brothers in the band all of a sudden? No, nah, they've they've been working together for years, so they've been in bands together, and it's it's perfect. They're Cohesion is, is uh, I guess, strengthening the band and it's making us a more formidable, you know, force, I guess. So it's going to make us stronger, push us forward. Hmm. And, well, late last year you released the single Know My Name. So mm. it's been like it's 18 months or getting on to two years since your debut album came out. Yep. So... You're yeah. working on another album? Oh, yes, we are. We've got probably 15, 16 pre-production tracks sorted. Um, we've got a producer, recorder, you know, like a studio set. Uh, we're just finishing up the last few and then uh, we're going to get it sorted and uh, we're going to film a, another single and music video in between now and then just to keep the ball rolling. And yeah, so definitely by the later part of the year, we'll have another album sorted and done. Right. But before then, like how long do you think before this single video is going to be? Uh, well, we're planning on recording it in the next four weeks. Um, we did it for six weeks. 
so maybe a month and a half, two months, till it's actually released. We're going to plan a, an album launch show and then a mini tour across Australia uh, for that. And, uh, yeah, it should be good. Well, I think that's a good idea because I think there might be a few people who are excited to get to see the Tempest Rising show live. I know yeah, I am. Excited to show it. <laughs> it's good to see you at a show, Kat. Make sure we come over East Coast and destroy some stages for you. <laughs> Definitely. Do it as soon as possible. And I'm looking forward to see hearing what the next single like, but particularly the album too. How's the music going like as a band? Are you progressing? Is Know My Name an indication of what the album's going to be like? Or Oh, yeah. yeah. Know My Name is... Um it's kind of it's one of the one of the more melodic songs. We've got a few heavier, faster ones and groovy ones. We want to keep it unique without going into that, you know, that bubble of unnameable genre bands that are out there. You know, we wanna we wanna be metal. And uh there's some pretty strong songs. The next song we're releasing is gonna be pretty fast and heavy just to show what other side we can sort of produce. And uh yeah, the album's sticking along really well. As we mentioned before, the two James boys have really brought a new level of uh, musicianship to our uh, to our band. Right. And then what about your vocal chords? How do you look after them? Uh, lots of Sailor Jerry, uh, lots of beer. <laughs> you know, just the, the normal the normal, you know, it's what was recommended by doctors. <laughs> That's, yeah. No, I just I don't know. I just Thing and take it easy, a couple of strepsils. Did you have singing lessons? Uh, no, no. I, I've taken one or two um, to try and, I don't know, push the boundaries of my voice a bit, but I found that they were just um, tailored too much to operatic style or, you know, classic style vocals. And um, there's a few DVDs and a few, uh, like the Zen of Screaming and stuff out there that's pretty good, but you just... Take rest time and relax your vocal cords. Generally, you should be fine if you're not pushing too hard. Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell people, actually, that if they want to find out more about you, they can go to facebook.com forward slash Tempest Rising Official. Yeah, yeah. And um, I see you've got your video up there top of the page at the moment, Know My Name, which yeah. is pretty cool, and it's doing really well for you, isn't it? Yeah, since the um, Seven Dust show ranked up from like two and a half thousand to like six thousand views, which is pretty sweet, and it's still climbing, which is good. Yeah, I um, I just remembered what I was going to ask you before, and I forgot. Yeah. So quickly, you said that your set at Seven Dust was filmed. Are we going to actually see that in its entirety somewhere, or what are you planning to do with the footage? Yeah, we actually got a film by um, one of our best, or one of our friends from uh, uh, Dark Spirit Photography here in Perth, and uh, yeah, we filmed no more fully, and we're going to make it into like a live music video mm-hmm. for our song No More. So that'll be out in about four weeks because um, yeah, he's, he's going to do some mad editing and make it look as brutal as possible. So then you're going to have two new videos coming out. One's a live one and one's a new song that we haven't heard. Yeah, yeah, about four weeks apart, I reckon. Awesome. Yeah, and keep, the, keep it flowing. Yeah, it is the 8th of April, Friday the 8th of April. You're playing at Murderfest in Perth. Everyone in Perth, yeah. they get plenty of chances to see you. The East Coast yeah, have to do, wait. Yeah. We'll make sure that our East Coast tour is going to be brutal as <laughs> and make sure you let us know if you get any more of these big supports too. Oh, we will definitely. You will definitely see that on <laughs> social media. Yeah, yeah. You should go and give them a like on Facebook dot com forward slash Tempest Rising Official. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good night out there. You're at the gym right now because you're that sort of fit, healthy person. <laughs> No, I just working off all the booze I drank on the weekend. <laughs> Even uh, that's probably the last way that I'd want to work it off. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> but it has been great talking to you, and we're going to hear your track, Know My Name, now. Congratulations on doing the Seven Dust to support. It must have been amazing for you, and I do hope you get lots more. Thanks, Kat. Thank you so much for the chat. Thank you. And, yeah, this is Tempest Rising with Know My Name on Collision. And don't forget, we still got Fear Factory coming up. <laughs> 